Okay, this is Nick from ViaEngines.com. I just want to show you how to check a pump impeller. Now I've got three different types of situation here. I've got a bad impeller and I've got a, a good impeller I'm about to replace it with and I can show you a quick way of checking this without taking this apart, which is fiddly sometimes in the boat. The problem is, um, about 15 years ago, the some brass hubs were not degreased before they put the glue on and what happened is the hub would turn with the engine but the blades wouldn't go round and so the engine would overheat and steam up. So the quick way to test a new impeller um, like the one you get from me, these have been perfect for over 10 years, I've had them remanage it, just get the ends and tweak them as I do before I send them out. There's absolutely no openings between the brass and the rubber coming open. So that is a perfect impeller. Mine are all marked as well. I've had over 200 of these sold. But this previous batch from another disreputable seller, you can see the problem. And sometimes it's happened in a matter of minutes, sometimes in years. But how do you check without taking the back off? If you take the back off, the impeller is in here. What you could do is get like a plastic straw on the inlet, this is a cotton bud, I've snipped the end off and you can put it in here and turn the engine by hand not with the dynastart and you will feel it flicking and jamming your plastic tool. Don't use a metal one because you don't want to damage the rubber blades. The other thing you could use is um, like the straw from a can of WD-40 just to put it in there and when you rotate the crankshaft by hand you can feel it rotating. If when you're rotating the crankshaft by hand you can't feel anything clicking this straw, it probably means the impeller's not turning, it may have delaminated. So there you are. That is a quick way. The other way you could put actually a mirror through here and look. It is just possible if you had a torch and a mirror you could look through the inlet hole to see the blades turning but the two problems with that is very difficult to see through that hole the blades and it might be turning with um, no resistance but once the engine starts turning fast it might like this rubbish one come unglued and you've got a problem with slippage so I think by putting a, a little thing in there to um, give it some resistance if it then bites your stick when you turn the crank slowly that means that the rubber is engaging and pulling it round so it's better than just looking through there so that's a good way of checking your crank. Incidentally I'm, I'm reassembling this whole engine that's why you haven't got the flange here that's off at the moment so it gives you a better view of this and uh, I've got a brand new impeller on here of course which I'm about to fix up for a customer's rebuild so all nicely done.